Welcome back. In this tutorial, we're going to add a second rule to learn how the two rules can work together. First, let's go to Manage, Parameters. Let's right click on Width, select Make Multi Value. Now let's add new items 10, 20, Enter, 30, Enter, and 40. Click Add and click OK. Let's click Done. Now let's right click and edit our rule. Let's incorporate a second input list function. I'll just copy and paste this. And let's paste it here. Now I need to replace the length with width. Double click here. And let's do it again. And one more time. Let's run the rule to test how it works. By the way, if you happen to be new to programming, it's a good idea to check your work every step as we've done here. It's much, much easier to spot errors this way and to fix them, especially considering the fact that iLogic doesn't have built-in debugging tools. So keep that in mind. And let's click OK to run our rule. Here's the first input list box. Let's choose 30, click OK. Here's the second, 30 again, OK. Everything works just fine. Now let's add a second rule. So right click, select Add Rule. We'll call it Rule 2. Click OK. I'm going to insert the message box function here. Let's replace the word message with our message. I'll say rule two has run. And let's click OK. OK. All right, let's run rule number one to see what happens. Select my length and the width. OK. As you can see, rule two did not run, so let's learn how we can trigger a second rule to run when you run a first rule. What we need to do is use the parameters in rule two that are used in the first rule. I'm going to type a line here, length equals length. This doesn't change anything, no values, but it does incorporate the parameter length, which runs in the first rule. As a result, when rule one finishes, iLogic is going to run rule two. Let's try it out. Let's click OK to run our rule. So there's rule two. Let's right click on the first rule, select run rule. Select our length, select the width, click OK. And here is the rule two has run message box. Let's click OK. Now, let's see what happens when I drag the first rule below the second rule. Let's right click and run the rule. Choose the length, OK, and the width, OK. Aha, the message box informs us that rule two was triggered as well. Let's see how we can make rules stop running automatically. Right click on input list box, select edit rule. Let's go to the Options tab. Check Don't Run Automatically and click OK. And let's edit the rule. Options, Don't Run Automatically. OK. OK. Let's run Input List Box. Right click and run rule. Change the length to 20, the width to 20. OK. Rule 2 is not triggered this time. This concludes our tutorial about running multiple rules.